Hey guys, today I've got a pretty fun one for you. How to Catch a Dragon by Carol Hart and Ed Eaves. It's just not fair. I've been at school all week and now I have to do homework. How am I meant to draw a dragon if I've never even seen one? I'm just looking for clues in the Trolls and Goblins Handbook when... Albie! It's Mum. We need to pop to the library, she says. Come on. But what about my dragon drawing? I cry. You can bring it with you, she smiles. I want to go on bikes, but Mum's books are too heavy. So we climb into the car. The library is humongous. It looks just like a castle. Awesome! There are gazillions of books. I see one called The Dragon Spotter's Guide, but someone else grabs it first. Drat! It's a knight dressed in real armor. Whoa! Are you going dragon hunting? I ask. I want to, says the knight. But my brothers say I'm too small, so I'm just reading about them instead. Well, two small knights are easily as good as one big one, I say. Let's go together! We race across the drawbridge, through the fields, and out towards the forgotten forest. Yippee! I'm Albie, I shout. I'm Sir Cuthbert Clinkity Clank, grins the knight. Inside the woods, it's dark and creepy. Strange animals rustle in the leaves. Ooh. Suddenly, <laughs> a huge grizzly bear blocks our path. Uh-oh. Help! I cry. We're going to be eaten alive! Don't worry, smiles Sir Clank to the Clank. I know exactly what to do. He tiptoes towards the bear and tickles him under the chin. You just wanted a cuddle, didn't you? He says. Phew! Soon we reach a grassy hillside. Let's have a sandwich, says Sir Clinkity Clank. Suddenly, the ground starts to shake. Thud! 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 Earthquake! We yell. But it's not an earthquake. It's a hideous, hairy troll. She lunges for Sir Cuthbert. Oh, lovely, she grins. A tasty treat in a tin. Oh, I wouldn't eat him if I were you, I say bravely. He tastes of boiled cabbage and toenails. The troll is disappointed. Never mind, I smile. If you help us find some dragons, you can share our picnic. A bickernicker? gasps the troll. With egg sandwiches and pickled bunions? Yes, please. The troll leads us to a terrifying tunnel in the hillside. There's extra special dragons through here, she grins. Follow me. It looks scary. Ghostly wails echo from the darkness. Well, what's that noise? I gulp. Sir Cuthbert grabs a lantern and draws his sword. Only one way to find out, he says. We tiptoe into the gloom. The wailing gets louder. Suddenly, a dark shape rears up in front of us. It's moaning and waving its tentacles. Help! I cry. But Sir Cuthbert is not scared at all. That's not a monster, he laughs. It's my big brothers. The other knights cling to Sir Cuthbert. We got chased by a horrible bear and saw a hideous troll, and we've been hiding here for ages. Proudly, we tell them about our adventure. Then, the troll leads us through the tunnel and out into the sunshine. And that's when we see them. Dragons! The valley below us is teeming with hundreds of magnificent, beautiful dragons. Awesome! Quit burning my butt.
The big knights draw their swords. Stop, growls the troll. Them dragons is friendly. I pull my homework out of my pocket. We don't have to fight them, I say. Let's draw them. I share out my paper and pencils, and we settle down. The biggest knight sighs happily. Drawing dragons is so much easier than catching them, he smiles. At last, the sun goes down, and the air begins to chill. So we pack up our things and head for home. Back at the library, Mom is busy chatting. Sorry, Albie, she says. I hope you haven't been bored. I smile at my new friends. Nobody could ever be bored in a library, I say. Come on, then, grins Mom. I just need to nip to the car wash, and then we can go home. Uh-oh. Well, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for reading with me. I'll see you next time. Bye!